what to look for in sunscreens. And we are constantly bombarded with different brands, different SPF numbers, different right. ingredients. And it can be overwhelming. So let's break it down for us. What are your favorite products? What should we be looking for when buying sunscreen? So I think the most important thing to look for is a sunscreen that has at least an SPF of 30, and probably 30 to 50 is, is the good range, mm -hmm. that it's broad spectrum, which means that it, it's, and that terminology is often on a label, that it protects against UVB as well as UVA, and that it's either water resistant or very water resistant, because there's no such thing as a waterproof sunscreen. No such thing as waterproof. No such thing as a waterproof okay. sunscreen. So we need to understand what that terminology means. Um, and I think those are the three things we look for a lot in a sunscreen. Now, one of the things that I look for and or I see is I see a sunscreen that says sport and I see a sunscreen that doesn't say sport. Am I supposed to buy into the sport <laughs> because it's better? Well, I think, I think, first of all, we have to understand that there's no regulation of the terminology sport. So okay. sport probably means but we don't know if it means this, is that a sunscreen is very water resistant. Now, okay. what does that mean? That means that a sunscreen will be effective for 80 minutes on the skin. Mm -hmm. So what happens after 80 minutes? We don't know, but we should probably reapply it. So I think that if you're going to do an outdoor activity that right. involves sweating and, you know, if you're going to be running or doing outdoor sports, I think using a very water-resistant sunscreen, because that's terminology that is FDA-regulated, is probably what we should look for.